All uh, right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make this geometric rooster with the new generative shape feel here in Illustrator. All right, so first I downloaded some images with some roosters so I can see how it's gonna look. And of course, we also got some chickens going on just in case we fail with the rooster. And first, what I gotta do is go here to the fill, click on the fill, click on the none, and click on the stroke. So it's gonna be on the top and select the color for it. I gotta go with black. And I'm gonna go to the pen tool here and I gotta double click on it. So here you can see the settings that I'm gonna go with. Fidelity is going to be in the middle and the rest of the options are like this. Click OK. And all you need to do is just draw a rooster. So I'm gonna try to recreate it as best as possible eventually, like in a more simplified version. I'm also gonna try to draw their beard or I don't know what is this. And it also has that thing on his head. I don't know, something like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like this, look at that. It looks like a hat. I'm gonna close the neck here. And I'm also gonna group it. All right, so I'm gonna work with this rooster as a reference. And beyond that, we're gonna create some shapes. So now we got a simple sketch for the AI as a reference. And next, we're also gonna need to create the shapes and colors for the AI, so he's gonna use it for reference. So I'm gonna put the rooster here, and I'm gonna go to the fill and stroke, swap it. So the stroke is empty now. Click on the fill, so it's gonna be on the top. And of course, I'm gonna need to make this from circles. And because of that, I'm gonna go here actually to the lines, and I'm gonna select the polar grid tool. And I'm gonna double click on the polar grid tool. So here we got the settings. And I'm gonna decrease the number of the concentric dividers to zero. And I'm gonna increase the radial dividers all the way to four. Click OK and press Shift plus Alt. I'm also gonna add a color, press and hold Alt, drag it down. And I'm gonna go here to the Pathfinder, click on the three dots and select Divide. All right, so I'm gonna click here, right click on Group. And I can see we can divide them. And I'm gonna scale it down. I'm gonna separate these into two, and I'm also gonna separate these in four. So now we've got these quarter circles in all kinds of directions this way. I'm also gonna unite these, click on Unite, and the circle as well, and just recolor it. After this, I'm gonna select them, right-click Group, scale it up, and I'm gonna select the rooster, and let's go and select the generative taskbar. If you don't have it, you can go here to the Windows and select Contextual Taskbar. And now what I'm gonna do is go here to the generative shape fill, type in rooster made of circles, half circles and quarter circles. Now let's go here to this button with the details and I'm gonna decrease the shape strength all the way down to zero and also the details all the way down to zero minimum. And now we're gonna go here to the style effect and what I'm gonna do is go here, click on it and check this out, it is going to highlight this shape. I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna import all the triangles with the colors. So it is going to use it as style reference. And now you can click on generate. Now, of course, this is not gonna be like a final result, but this is good for like ideas. So this part is good for an idea and also this here. So I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna save this frame here and we're gonna generate some more from this. We already got the prompts, click on generate. And I'm gonna generate till I'm gonna find some better ideas. All right, so so far this is what I could create out of it. Unfortunately, I didn't have too much success like last time. From the last time attempts, you can see we got like a little bit better results. Now here we got like more creative ideas. And then at the very first time, I also had like these. But I think this is not because we got like a couple of ideas here. So what I'm gonna do is ungroup these. I'm gonna select them, right click, ungroup all. And I'm gonna select just some of the elements that I like. So I'm gonna go with this guy and I'm gonna create a duplicate and I'm gonna remove some of the elements which are bad. So these would be like good ideas. I do like the idea of this beak, how this part is going here. So I'm gonna create a new copy here, maybe like a different color like this in orange. So now I'm gonna go and select the triangular shapes and I'm gonna select this, group it, and I'm gonna decrease the opacity all the way down and I'm gonna select these half circles and place them on it. So let's see what we're gonna create from this. Now this looks good on the examples, but in practice you might not get what you want. Bring it down and scale. And I'm gonna select this one. Now unfortunately at the end Illustrator crashed, so I kinda lost the files and couldn't save it back. But how I remembered this was the one that I made. That pretty much eventually looks like the same original concept that I made previously at the first time. Now the question is, is AI going to help you if you're a beginner in Illustrator? Well, truth is, it's not going to help you. Or is it going to help you if you're an advanced designer in Illustrator? And the answer is, yeah, it kind of gives you some inspiration, but at the end of the day, you're going to need to do like 95% of the job anyways. So pretty much that's it. And thanks for watching.